Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use the hair object in Cinema 4D and Redshift. So first things first, we're going to make sure that we have hair render enabled in our render settings. If it is not, then you need to go into effect and click on hair render in your Redshift renderer. Uh, let's pop back out. Now that we know we're going to actually get here when we ask it to get here, we're going to add the hair object. Uh, firstly, we need to click the object we want to add our hair to. So that would be our sphere. And we're going to go to simulate hair objects and add hair. Not going to cover feathers of fur because that would be a massive tutorial um, compared to just this one. And we're just going to hit add hair and that's going to add hair straight away. Boom. There we go. So the next thing we want to show you is we're going to show you how to control the hair. So one way of controlling the hair is via the hairbrush. So if you just type in brush into the help menu or you can go simulate um, hair, uh, hair tools and brush. There we go. Um, it's gonna, just going to sweep it around. Look at that. And then once all those hairs are all brushed, we'll see now we have our little wavy hair that we've just created using the brush. Now these guides are a little bit kinky and you can see, you know, it can give you a little bit clunky results. If you want to increase the number of segments, you just go into your guide section and we can increase the number of guides we have. Um, so let's just increase that to 16. But in hairs, you can have um, more segments as well underneath the hair tab and that'll just give you a smoother result. Also, you can, um, Increase the number of hairs as well. If you want to go to like 100,000 instead of 50,000, or sorry, not 10,000, because that'll make it less, but you, know, you get the idea. You can have 100,000 or 10,000, whatever. How many? You can have one hair if you want. Um, so then I'll just decrease and increase the thickness of your hair effect uh, because you're worth it. And um, the next thing we want to, I just want to show you is how the hair can be affected by the physics engine that's built into Cinema 4D, like what you would normally get with your kind of uh, MoGraph stuff when you click play on the thing. So what we want to do to demonstrate that is we click on the sphere object where the hair is being applied and we'll just click play and we'll see gravity being applied to our guides. And as that processes, we'll see the hair falling down under the force of gravity. Now, if we just kind of pause it here, we'll see our hair doing something a bit mental. And I, you know, and that's 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 basically it. Um, and then the the last bit I want to cover in this very rudimentary tutorial, but hopefully it'll give you an introduction enough to learn the the most of it that you need to learn for your project. Um, we will just cover the tag. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit back on that. Go back to my regular kinky hair, and just gonna. Change this to like, I don't know, a random color, green. Let's do a bit of Oscar the Grouch. And you see that'll change our hair color to green. Now let's just click all of these. We're not using the node based editor because this is a legacy effect, but it still does work with Redshift. Sometimes you have to pause the render preview uh, before you change certain settings, otherwise it'll crash. I couldn't tell you what the settings are because it's always a surprise. Uh, but it it does work well anyway as it, as it is. Um, so so now we have a kind of a scour and pad type effect or, or or a beard or something like that. Where we clicked everything. So you, it's trial and error, experimentation, and find out what's right for your particular project. Um, but this is basically the introduction to it and how you do it. So if you found this tutorial useful, do feel free to like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Namaste. And best of luck with your creative journey. I'll see you soon. All the best and bye-bye.